Hi there everyone. Um, well, some of you may know that I have a pretty big record collection. Um, so I thought, wouldn't it be nice to make a record video where I show my record collection? Then I thought, I have a lot of records, so that's not gonna happen in one video. So I'm gonna make a few uh, record videos, I guess. So to make a little start, uh, we're gonna talk about my soundtrack albums. This won't be including any Elvis albums, uh, because he has a lot of soundtracks, but they're all in my Elvis collection, of course. And I have like a hundred Elvis records or more, probably more. So uh, we're not going to talk about Elvis today. We're going to be talking about my soundtracks, Disneyland stuff, because I count those as soundtracks. And then some other stuff that we're going to flip through real quick, because they're not very interesting for everyone. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, we have all my soundtrack albums here. Um, well, let's just flip through them. And yes, they're on a chair because I don't have a lot of room in my room. So let's let's just flip through them on my chair. Uh, the first one here, um, I love this uh, this soundtrack and the whole movie. Um, it's it's amazing. It's um, all the classics, all the old guys. <laughs> Some of my favorite songs on here are um, Style, Mr. Booze. You might know Mr. Booze from uh, Family Guy. But yeah, this is a great album. Um, if you ever find this and you like um, all the, 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 the classic guys, you know. Uh, if you like them, you're gonna love this. This is like the best album ever. <laughs> uh, then we have the Weird Al, uh, the Weird Al movie. Um, it's an okay album. I like the score and I like some of the new songs. It sounds okay. Um, I have better sounding records. But uh, it's cool and it's it's on pink vinyl. So um, it's a fun album. Uh, I have Grease. Um, I, I have two Greases. Um, one used to belong to my uh, grandparents. And this one is just one I bought myself. Uh, I love the movie, I love the songs, um, it's it's a great album, it's a classic. Uh, if you ever find it, just pick it up and you're gonna love it. Uh, then we have Gremlins. I don't listen to this album a lot because I... I mean, it's a great movie, but the soundtrack is just a little... I don't know, it's not amazing, but I do like it. Dirty Dancing, I haven't seen this one in a while. Um, it has some great songs though, so that's good. Then there's Back to the Future. I do have two of these, but uh, my original pressing from 1958, no. My original pressing from 1985 um, is not here. Someone else has it right now, uh, but I'll get it back. <laughs> uh, this is my, what is this, 2020? I think so. Uh, this is one of the first records I ever bought myself, so that's pretty cool. And it's my favorite movie, so. Gotta love that. Uh, Ghostbusters. Um, well, same with Gremlins. I love the movie, but the soundtrack isn't amazing. I do like the main theme. Like... Um, yeah, I like that one. Then there's West Side Story. I'm gonna be very honest, I never listened to this record. So, I have no idea how good it is. I did see the movie once, but... Uh, I mean, I I have it. This is an amazing soundtrack. I love this. Um, yeah, I I do really like this. Like the Bee Gees and all the disco music. It's a vibe. I I, I love it. Um, this one. I mean, it's not really a soundtrack of something specific, but it has some movie songs and other things by Monty Python. So. I, I mean, it's a soundtrack for me. Uh, I really like it. It's, uh, it has some funny songs. It's, they're not amazing, but uh, the I Like Chinese song is really good. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a fun album. The Sound of Music. Do I have two of these? No, I used to have two of these. Um, this one has a fun book. Uh, it's inside, I'm not gonna open it right now, but. Uh, I love the movie. Pretty good. I don't love it, but it's pretty good. There we go. Star Wars. This soundtrack is pretty rare, actually. This 
and the music sounds great. It's such a great soundtrack. Um, I mean, it's John Williams, so he's amazing. Um, but what can I say? Uh, if you like Star Wars, get this soundtrack. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, again, John Williams. Great soundtrack. Um, yeah, I, I really love this. I actually bought this with the Star Wars record. Um, so, two classics. Uh, I really love the movie. I love the soundtrack. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, Alright, I have two of these. Uh, they're not really soundtrack albums, I guess. Not from movies. Uh, but it's the Euro Disney um, 30th anniversary uh, record. I like the Phantom Manor medley. But it doesn't have the... Um, what do you call that? Uh, the Grim Grinning Ghost, I think. Um, it has an instrumental, but it doesn't have the voices. So it's... Yeah. Kind of disappointing. Then it's a small world. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, again, it's Disneyland. But... It has a little booklet. Well, a little. Uh, it is a pretty big book with pictures of the old ride, and I really love that. Uh, the record itself is meh. Like, you're just listening to the song a lot, and then there's a guy saying, and now we're sailing through this and this place and this and this and blah blah blah. Um, I mean, it's okay. It's a cool collector's item, I guess. Then we have Mary Poppins. I love this soundtrack so much. It's... I love it. <laughs> I actually bought this record when I didn't even see the movie. And then I watched the movie and I, I love the soundtrack even more. <laughs> Aladdin. This is also one of the first records I ever bought. Uh, I love Robin Williams on this. Uh, I love the original version of the movie. Um, yeah, I like this soundtrack. It's really Disney-ish. I guess. This one sucks. This absolutely sucks. I thought I was gonna get some songs from the movie. Uh, well, first of all, they're Dutch. I don't like that. Uh, and they're not even the original movie versions, so... Eh. It's... Fun to have, I guess. I never listened to it, so... Uh... Eh. I like the artwork, though, so I'll give it that. Then we have all my childhood things like Kabout the Plop. I love Kabout the Plop. Uh, Samson and Gert. I have two of these. Um, this one is actually pretty rare. Um, I bought this before I even had a record player. Uh, well nobody's gonna give a crap about this unless you're from the Netherlands or Belgium. But uh, <laughs> I mean this one is pretty rare, it's pretty cool. I like this. Um, this one isn't really uh, a childhood record, I guess, but it's a background music from Bastian Adrian. And I love Bastian Adrian. Oh, that's. Be careful. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna go through these real quick because nobody's really gonna care. Um, this one's pretty rare. I like this one. Uh, then we have this one. Uh, okay, uh, time to get cancelled. Uh, this one is great. This one is nice. It has the signatures of both of them. So, I love that. This one has uh, just his signature. This this is a meh album. I don't like this. Um, this one has only his signature. And, well, I'll just watch. His signature, his signature, his signature. Uh, this one belonged to my mom. Uh, these two, but these aren't too inter interesting. Um, this one belonged to my mom and I got his signature myself, but then I started looking more closely and look at that, that's his signature that my mom got. So that's pretty funny, I guess. Yeah. Uh, then I have two of these. One sounds a lot worse than the other, but this one has a signature and this one doesn't. Uh, this single, this single is pretty rare, so that's pretty cool. Um, then we have two of these. Oh no, I don't have two. I don't have two of these. I don't. Oh, I do. It's in. My 
Okay, hold on. I do! It's... It, it's inside of there. Uh, the labels are different, so... Of course, as a collector, I'm gonna need both of them. Alright, so I do have two of these. Then, this one. Uh, this is their first album. That's, uh... I mean, it's... It's alright. I don't listen to it daily. But hey. And then, this one is pretty interesting. I absolutely hate this whole record. But, they're on there. Like, this is the clown. And this is, well, you can recognize him, I guess. But this is like a few years before they became really famous on TV. So that's pretty cool. All the other stuff, I don't, I don't, I don't really like it. So, uh... Well, that was part one of my record collection. Um, we're gonna see when part two comes out. Uh, but those were my soundtracks. So if you enjoyed that video, give a big old thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy the video, don't watch. If you're gonna subscribe, just click that bell icon too. So you get some notifications. And if you wanna be the first one to see my record collection videos, you're gonna need that. Anyways, goodbye for now. So see you next time. Thank you.